Hey y'all, so I am finally back with another video and I'm gonna start right off by addressing my voice. Y'all bear with me, I was sick for like one day <laughs> and I feel better, a whole lot better, but it's just my voice. I'm left with this crackly voice. So I'm gonna try to keep my talking down to the minimum. So I'm coming in and doing a full set. I've already done my natural nail prep. I've already applied her tips. And now I'm coming in and starting my application. And the acrylic that I'm using is just a self mix. But I'm using that new to start carving out a French. So once I have that first bead down and I have that base carved out the way I want it, I'm going to come in and just start building this back area up. So this next bead, I'm really focusing on the center. This is going to be where I pretty much start out my apex. And I'm just going to apply that. And then towards the end of the bead, I'm going to blend it through the first bead. So once I have that blended, I'm going to come in with my cuticle bead, apply that at the back of the nail, and then just blend that through. Okay, and as you can see on that middle finger, I also went in and applied a French outline to that one as well. So now to the pinky, I'm coming in with a very light pink. I feel like you can barely tell though as I'm looking at it on playback, but it is a very light pink and it is also just a self mix. And I'm going to do this whole pinky nail just this solid pink. So I'm starting at the center of the nail walking that bead down and I'm trying really hard to keep my shape intact as I apply this acrylic so as I'm coming down and I'm pushing in on the sides that acrylic sometimes it really wants to fold underneath that tip so you got to make sure one you're keeping your side so you have your shape still and then two you have to make sure that you're getting all of that build up from underneath the nail um i don't know if that happens to y'all but when i'm doing stiletto i always find that i have to pay attention to the bottom portion of my tip because all that acrylic just wants to get under there and we ain't trying to be doing no extra filing so while it's still in this state you see i'm just going to go under there knock most of that out and it's clean i won't have to worry about going in the end and filing it away so after I have that bead applied I'm going to just start building this up and it's pretty much the same technique every design I do I pretty much try to use the same technique when you get in a habit of doing that it's going to help when it comes to your time and it's just also going to help make your set be more consistent visually. It's all going to look the same. So try to get yourself in a routine and keep it. Now, as I say that though, I do switch up my routines very often because I'm always trying to find something that works better. But if I'm working on one routine, I'm going to do that one. And then if I feel like it's not working, I'll move on to another one. So it really doesn't matter what design you're doing as long as you're doing the same technique throughout the whole set so i'm going in and i'm building this up i applied i think four beads to achieve this and that's another thing too um i guess when you're starting out you want to know like okay how many beads do I need to use exactly? Well, it's not exact. It's about how you apply the acrylic. It's about how the client's nails are. Each of their nails are not going to be the same. You know what I'm saying? Some of them can be um, more dented in. Some of them can be more thick. So it's all just about that one nail and, and how you work that one nail. So this one, I'm gonna go in with my cuticle bead making sure to point that finger down especially 
when you're at the cuticle area i i swear y'all <laughs> Every time like I'm coming in and I'm about to do cuticle work, I am lasered in and I'm focused, okay? <laughs> and then if someone moves in my head, I'm like, oh my lanta, honey, be still. This is not the time. You can do all of that when I'm working through the tip, but when it comes to cuticle area, this is serious business, okay? <laughs> But I'm going to go in, make sure that I point that finger down so none of that product gets into her cuticle area and gets onto her skin. That will just be a nightmare to get off if it already dries up on you and then it'll just cause lifting. You just don't want it. So now I'm going to come over to the pointer finger and I'm going to do this one blue. So I guess you can already see what type of vibe we're going for. She really didn't know what she wanted, but she did know the colors that she wanted, which was the light pink and the baby blue. And those colors are very easy to work with i have done so many sets with this color combination but of course i ain't trying to do old sets <laughs> i'm trying to you know do something new so we kind of went through some pictures kind of put things together from other pictures and came up with this so this blue that i'm using is from a galore and i'm doing the same thing i did on the pinky a full solid nail of this color and this color y'all i am not sure if it is a strength powder so i'm using the same techniques to build up this nail but i'm using really smaller beads and i'm doing that because i'm going to come in at the end and cap this whole nail so this is considered my design layer so i'm going to make sure that that's thin enough to where i can come in and build up strength with my clear and I did not include the capping in this video and it's pretty much just the same technique that I use to apply the color. So that's why I really don't even bother about putting in the encapsulation of the clear. But I'm just letting you guys know that that is what I did. Okay, so back to my French nails. They are dry and I went in and I filed them into shape and now I'm gonna come in and fill in that tip color. Now I'm just using white for this one and I'm starting off with a pretty nice size bead at the tip and I'm just going to push all of that product back into that um, nude color and really push it up against those sides. And I'm also making sure that I tuck it in where the sidewalls are. And I'm also making sure that I kind of keep the nude uh, as clean as I can. I'm not trying to keep it totally free of the white, but I'm still trying to be very neat when I come in and I apply this white. I have been recently hand filing, so I really want to keep that in mind when I'm applying this tip color. I don't want to have to come in with my e-file first and file off a whole bunch of white. If I apply it clean first, then I won't have to worry about that. So after I push all of that color up, I really press that product down towards the tip. And now I'm coming in and once everything is set and where it needs to be, I'm taking my brush and I'm going over the surface of that powder and just smoothing it out. So after I get everything applied, this is like the finishing touches. I smooth it out. I make sure that the sides are really, you know, sharp and clean. And I make sure that there's nothing underneath that nail that's going to dry under there and have to be filed away Okay, so I also did the thumb, the white French. And now for this French, I'm going to be doing a vertical ombre. So I'm gonna start by just applying my color and I'm making sure that I'm not taking a very big bead. I just want this pretty much to be my base. This is going to be my starting color. So I'm applying that blue up the sides and down that tip. And I'm just making sure right now that I have it on there and then I have my sides clean. 
Now I'm going to come in with the pink and do the same thing. I'm just going to get that color down on the opposite side, apply it at the tip, and then just push that product all the way up, making sure not to add a lot of product here because this, again, is going to be my design base. I know since I'm creating a fade that I'm going to need to cap this. So I do not want to make this portion of the design thick at all. So I applied that pink color up the side. I'm making sure that I'm tucking it in. And now once I have those two colors set, now I'm gonna come in and start adding little beads at a time through that center and start creating that fade. And this one, I feel like it's not hard at all to create a fade like this. It pretty much just fades itself. As long as you have that bottom um, of those colors already put down then you can come in at the top and just you know melt some colors together So once I have that fade done, I'm going to come in and cap this, like I said, and you do not need a lot because I've already built up the back with that nude. So I'm really just coming in and protecting my fade and creating a little bit of strength there at the tip as it needs. Alrighty, I have my application all done, so I'm going to start finish filing these nails. I'm going to start off by taking my hand file and filing these into a sharp, sharp shape. So I start with the perimeter first, and then I'll come in and just kind of go over the surface of the nail with my hand file. I still come in at the end and use my sanding bit to flush out my cuticle area though. But I'm going to get these real sharp. Y'all know how I, I do it. <laughs> I have been telling everybody who has been coming in and requesting stilettos. I'm like, listen, they come with a disclaimer, okay? Are you sure you want these? But everyone has still been getting them and I still love doing them and I love a very, very sharp stiletto. Okay, so moving on to my design, she has went in and washed her hands and now I'm coming in and this is just alcohol and I'm wiping those nails, making sure that there's nothing on them that's going to get in the way of our design. So once I have these clean, I'm gonna come in and we're gonna just pick some colors here. I pulled out a few of them and then we went in and chose which one matched best with the color we used, of course. And I just went in and applied that on that stamping plate. I'm not using the stamping plate, but I couldn't find my little palette. So that's what I ended up using to apply my color. So on this pinky, I'm going to make a yin yang sign. So I'm gonna start off with my striping brush and I'm just going to, you know, create that swirl down the center of the nail. I always start off kind of with my outline first and then I'll just go in and fill in that outline. I find that that really helps when it comes to doing pretty much any kind of nail art. If you can draw your outline first and then go in and fill it in, I feel like that's a whole lot easier. So this color that I'm using, I believe this one is from Madame Glam, and my goodness, it is a very, very good match for that color that I used. I have been doing that too lately. Um, I've been getting lucky. <laughs> I'm telling you, when it comes to this, I've been having the right colors for the right acrylic. I don't know how it happens, but it does. So once I have my yin yang sign down, I'm going to come in with my dotting tool and already apply that opposite blue on the pink. Now for this one on my little vertical ombre, I'm just going to create a flame. And this white that I'm using, I'm using a gel paint, but I wish I would have used one of my little gel art liners that I had. I keep forgetting that I have them. I love the gel paint that's in there, the gel art liners. And if you have watched my one of my hauls, I got it from AliExpress. It came with a set and I have been using them, y'all. I really do like them. I don't like the brushes, but 
I like the the actual gel so I'll just take the gel out put it on a palette and then use one of my regular striping brushes so I wish <laughs> I would have used it but I used the gel paint and it was kind of giving me a hard time with this flame so I'm pretty much doing a outlined flame I'm not going to fill it in I'm just going to do the outline apply that and then I'm going to cure it So back to this one, I'm just going to add that pink dot to finish that yin gang sign. And then for this white one, I'm going to come in and pretty much just add dots. <laughs> I'm going to add these blue dots going up the nail. And then once I cure them, I'm going to come back and add some more dots on top of those. So for the blue one, I'm just going to create some really simple flowers. I'm going to use my dotting tool and just create those. I'll cure them and then I'll come back and fill those in also. Alright y'all, so for the thumb I'm going to go in and create another flame but in pink. And that is pretty much it for this set y'all. I do have a video coming up that I'm really excited about. It's going to be over stamping. I get a lot of questions when it comes to stamping and I do have one video on that one but I'm going to do another one and I feel like stamping is such a easy nail art to have in your arsenal if you are a nail tech so keep an eye open for that and that is it for this one y'all thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in another video bye